Hey, audience! This is Wyvernval. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we did another peach segment and explored a little bit more of the Toad Town sewers. And now, uh, I'm just gonna check some double dip. Uh, during battle, let's use short one more turn. And nah, I won't get any for your money. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, anyways, in this episode, we're actually gonna finally start um, chapter five. So, you know, I never even checked you, talk to you, you look really suspicious. Yo, little man, name's Chet Ripple, Re pleasure to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man, don't you want to upgrade your status? <laughs> yeah, I know you do. It's actually 390 coins, but for you and only you, I'll do it for just 39 coins. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, or BP. I'm not lying, we're cheating you. Come on, you know you want it. No! Come on now, your name is Chet Rippo. Why should I believe you? Anyways, this is where we actually have to go. I'll save here real quick, actually. There we go. Now, uh, I believe we already got this. Did it not? Pretty sure we did. Yeah, I did. Okay, then. So, now, we'll see that Colorado is here. Actually, let's talk to you. Hmm, who am I, you say? Why, my dear chap, I am none other than Colorado, famed art, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures awaiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Hmm. Think now, Colorado, how to cross the sea. And now over here, we're gonna see something that we did not see before. Hmm. Weird. Let's try doing this. Oh my god! Ouch! Yoach! What are you doing? Um. Oh. Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Oog. I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. And I have problems. It feels like something's jumping around my belly. Ow, ow, ow! Help me! Hmm, I say. Oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a belly ache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Ugh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Okay, then. Oh, pretty dark. Let's use one. Ew. Wah! Who that? What do you think you're doing with that light? And now uh, you see this guy right here. All right. So what you want to do is you just want to hit him, I guess, basically. What? Did I accidentally hit you, whale? Sorry. I guess we're supposed to just talk to him then, I guess. Oh no, we're supposed to just, um, touch him. Okay. Now we have to fight this guy. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ornery as all get out. Prepare for some pain. And now, uh, you remember this guy is actually, um, that buddy from that one fisherman in the same area. Anyway, this guy's not too hard. Even though I just failed at. Seriously, only five damage? That's weak. Alright, but we got this in the bag. Oh, jeez, oh, no, no. Oh. I just can't use items. Well, you know what? That don't matter. I fall down. All right, you, oh, come on now. You know what? You know what? You know what? Eat it. Hey, um, you know, well, sorry about this star storm in your belly, but I gotta have to do it, to, you know? I, sorry about that. 16 star points, alright. Ah, Shucks! First thing I get away from that old fisherman, and then I get all swallowed by some huge fish, and then this fella with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pants in the fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy line life. Mario, it's me! You know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic! Whoa! Okay, so I guess he's not a buddy of that fisherman. 
Whoosh! Hey, it's you, boy. You're that dumb old fish that ate me all up and such. You plum idiot. You know, I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgive you this time, but you just watch it. Er, I reckon I owe you some thanks, after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. Phew, I feel so much better now. I should call you Dr. Mario. Ha! There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, am... I mean... I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you say... But did you just say... Anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer! Accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island! What a trip it'll be! The island will be wonderful! You must trust my instincts! Mario, um... I think the star kid said a star spirit was, um, calling the big Lava Lava Island. We, um... We should go! Big Whale, give us a ride! Wee! Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of, of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go rest up real quick. Get back my star power. And, yeah, I'm just going to talk to the whale and swim to Lava Lava Island. Alright, tuna man. Let, I mean, whale man. Let's go. Do I go to Lava Lava Island? Yes, I do. Jump. You coming, Colorado? Oh! Sure it's safe, then? Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on a tuna. Mario, do you ever think about how strange life can be? I do. Now, I believe you do something here. You can actually make the water... Yeah, if you press A repeatedly, you can actually make the water spout come up. Wee! Oh, it stopped. And now we have Chapter 5. Hot, hot times on Lava Lava Island. You want me to take you back to Toe Town? Just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! Gracious! Behold, Mario! There, off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! Sure! Now, over here, we have some heart plants. Yes, these are your heart plants. You will check them, they will actually give you some of hearts. Here we all have some coconuts. Damage one enemy. Eh, don't really want it. And over here, you see, actually, you have an item. Hmm. I really should have stored some stuff, but we'll be able to store stuff uh, soon. There is a town here, so... No, 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 no. I don't want to give this. Now, we... You kind of have to be careful with here because there are some hurt plants. Kind of a little pun on hard plants, but anyways, you know, they're actually enemies in disguise. Over here we have a flower. If you press the Z button, you propel yourself higher. So, yeah. This, this is probably the only place we can go. At least I think. I don't think there's anything else behind here, is there? I mean, besides that item, I don't think there's anything... Oh! There is something. But, we're not supposed to go there yet. So, let's just go over here. Yarg! Help, I say! Help! Hmm. Seems to be some problems. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Letter! Sorry, Colorado, but... Letters are important. The mail must be delivered! Alright, so here you see you have a fuzzy. I've been curious, fuzzy. Ha-ha! Eat that! So now we have a jungle fuzzy. Now these guys... Oh, come on now. These guys, you gotta be careful. Because whereas the regular fuzzies, you know, you just can just time it and press the A button. You have to mash the A button here. And they can also bring up 
back up. Great. But yeah, you want to be really, really careful. Well, not really careful. You gotta be really good with mashing the A button. But so, being careful also works. Now, I don't really mind this too much, you know, but... Okay, come on now. I like the free experience, but can we get this over with? Please? Just get it over with? Come on now! Place your bets, folks! How many times do you think this guy is going to do it? How many times? I mean, I don't want to waste, like, any items or star power or anything like that. I don't want to. Okay, fine. So yeah, you gotta mash that A button. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't need to waste anything. Die! Die. On the plus side, we get 10 experience from all this, so I'm- Oh, come on now! So that's the bad thing for a while. You fail the timing, you only get one. Which is so stupid, because like that was so easy to time! You just hold it until it lights up! God, how s How incompetent am I? Phew, you saved me! Many thanks, old chum! Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and press on. What to say? Um, okay. Not a coconut, which I don't want. Over here we have some bell flowers, I guess. Bell sprout! Alright. Got those coins. Yeah! I knew there was something in those trees. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be anything else here except for a beach, so let's continue on. And. Oh my god, Yoshi's village! Yoshi's everywhere! Over here we got nothing. Over here we got- Oh my god, a big fat Yoshi! Welcome to you, Mario. I'm the village leader of Yoshi's village. Ah, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm, the entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. Too dangerous! Too dangerous! Do you know who I am? I am Mario! Nothing is too dangerous. Not even anti dangerous Alright, so anyways, anything over here? Nope, there's more coconuts. Okay, whatever. Now we're in actual town of... Well, town of Yoshi's. Oh, it's sort of have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, I think they can fool Sushi. They better think again! That is so ironic to have a fish named Sushi. This is so ironic. Okay. So anyways, there's a toad house right here, which isn't really much, actually. I mean, look at this. But at least we can actually rest ourselves up. But anyways, how come you don't even have like a house kind of thing? I mean, look at that shop! Even that's in a building! Anyways, you see we got some snowman dolls on the rage. Stuff like that. Um, let's see. No, I want to check. Um, I don't really want to take away the snowman doll because these are actually pretty helpful. Shrinking or poisoning. I don't think I'll be getting in I don't think I'll be getting these status effects too often. So I'll probably save that for now. And You know what? I'll probably store this wacko's bump as well. I think this is more of a last resort kind of thing. Now I will say you can get this multiple times. So, I mean I think I already said this in chapter two, you can get this multiple times, it's just that I don't really want to go back there and hit him, you know, again and again. Maybe I'll do it, like, near the end of the game or something like that, because you can get it several times. It's really good. Look at that, 25 HP and MP. Or FP, rather. I've been playing too many MMOs. But anyways, that's probably it for now. So now we have some extra storage space. Nothing. 
I believe we should go over here. Whoa. Yarg! Eek! Help! Help! Stupid shy guys. Now, he does have a spear. And you want to be careful how... That's really entertaining. I, I, sorry about that. that. That's just really entertaining. <laughs> Anyways, let's hit this guy. Now, you want to be careful with these shy guys. The uh, direction of the, of the spears that they're pointing, you know. They're pointing the spears. Like this, for example. You, can't, you don't want to hit this guy with a hammer. He's pointing it forward. You're just going to stab yourself. So you want to jump. But at the same time, you don't want to jump on this guy. Because that guy is pointing his spear up. So, yeah. Alright. It's... Zap you. I can't remember. Does the shy guy... Not the shy guy. Does what actually... How did I feel that timing? I wonder why I can actually get hurt by that um, spear being upward. But now we won't be able to know because he's pointing it down. Or rather forward. Whatever. Alright. Phew, you sent me once more. You're top notch, Mario. Now, I feel that destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? Anyways, what's this plan? That's it. Well then, useless. Oh, over here, really, really good item. See that? You can see something right there. Jam and jelly. Highly nutritious snack, 50 FP. This is like one of the best items you can get ever. You want to save this. You can't. Obviously, you don't want to use it right now. I mean, like, come on now. You only have 25. That's half of it. But, it's really good. Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. The secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Alright then. We. Ugh! Yarg! Stop! Stop it! Again? Hello, are you? Oh ho ho ho! Did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on, hmm? Well, you know what? You got me! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was a good joke! And now you hear that the music has all changed, oh my god! Hey, yo, what's going on? The kids are gone! The only place they could have gone is go to the jungle! I had a feeling they were up to something lately. But I thought it was just mischief, then they didn't go into such a dangerous area. What do we do? How will we find them? The jungle? Oh my god. Elder! Oh, such ill fortune! The children are missing! They seem to have secretly slipped up to the jungle! I don't know, it's dangerous! We must get them back here to safety! Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. I'll try to calm them down. You just find those kids. I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problems so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? Well, come on, Colorado. At least show some, like, emotion. Huh. Pretty chill music up here. Look at these guys just bobbing their heads back and forth. Oh, wow, aren't you so elegant? I mean, eloquent. Anyway, let's go back down here. I guess the music is really, really... Actually, wait a minute. No, the music is... Okay, then. So, it's just part of the music. Okay, so anyways... Seems the children are missing now, but we'll save that for the next episode. Because I've been recording for over 20 minutes. So, in the next episode, we will finally rescue... Those Yoshi children. Save the children! No child left behind. See you guys next time.